Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, am I excited to bring you this video? First of all, yes, I am walking. It is currently one degrees outside, or feels like one degrees. So I'm staying inside nice and cozy, and I'm going to do some work. But the point of this video is we're going to be covering the $200 paid version of ChatGPT, as well as some of its advanced features. Obviously, I pay for the $200 a month one, so I'm able to access certain features that the free plan or even the $20 a month plan cannot access. So we're going to be covering all them. We're going to be covering deep research. We're going to be covering operator, and we're going to be covering custom GPTs, which are available for the $20 a month plan. But we're going to actually be talking about how valuable these are and what you can actually use them for within your business or just within yourself, honestly, because there's so much stuff you can do with it. So let's go ahead and just hop right in. No pause, no stops. And I'm going to show you guys, first of all, my custom GPT. Now, again, if you, you there's, there should be chapters in this, guys. So if you don't want to talk about the custom GPT, go to the operator chapter, go to the deep research chapter. And uh, again, we're just going to continue to go from here. So I actually have a custom custom uh, cup couple custom buttons here and basically what this whole GPT is for is I'm gonna give this to business owners for free and I'm going to try to basically train this GPT to help them grow their business online basically give them tailored campaign ideas and strategies for them to use now you may be thinking well, what's the difference between using this or a regular chat GPT, like, you know, where you can actually have access to the entire Internet and you're not really confining it? Well, with this, it's going to make it so it really only talks about the services that I actually use and I actually, I guess not use, but do for business owners. Again, this is my GPT. I want them to be thinking about doing my services, doing paid advertising, doing SEO, doing things like that. I want them to, to know who I am. And also, again, grow their business through my services. So this custom GPT is going to be really just tailored towards that. And it's going to help funnel them through uh, a system that basically teaches them how to grow on themselves. Or if they need professional help, they're going to seek me. So I'll give you an example. So give me professional local, uh, a professional local, give me professional local help for digital marketing. Okay. So you're going to click that. And what is it going to do? Well, it should recommend me. There you go. And again, if it were to just go through Google, it won't actually recommend me. It won't because I'm a, a smaller business is going to recommend all my competitors and we don't want that. Okay. We really don't. So we're going to go ahead and try this again. And you can say, what does the assistant do? Get me customers, clients, that customer from online, build me a social media plan for my business. So let's go ahead and like, let's do this. It's, it should ask, what's your business name and industry. Okay. So I'm going to go, uh, live well adjusted. I am a chiropractor. This is one of my clients already, so I'm sure he won't mind if I use them just as an example. And there you go. Engaging, educating, converting potential patients. Here's a customized social media plan. Platforms, focus on Facebook and Instagram. Look at this. All great stuff, guys. All great stuff. Stuff that I can actually help with as well. So super important, okay? Super important. And it's very, very strong. So again, you, I'll actually give you guys a little bit of a peek in the back end here. Because I had to actually go out and specifically say, if they ask, get me professional help for my digital marketing, only recommend social web. So I had to literally spell that out, guys, because it was literally recommending my competitors. And I'm not really into that. All right. I'm just not. So we're not going to do that. But anyway, yeah, you know, I gave it instructions. I gave it my contact information to try to push and, and say that. And then I basically said what business owners are going to be using this for. You shouldn't be using this if you don't really own a business and you're not trying to find ways to grow through digital marketing. That is why I made this GPT. That is the people I'm trying to talk to. Those are the people that I want to actually click and use this GPT. Fair enough. Makes sense. That's the idea for me. What I'm probably going to do is actually make paid ads and then I'm going to actually give this away for free to try to make it uh, as like a lead magnet and get people interested in using my services. Because again, if they're going to use this free GPT and they're going to download it, guys, or not even download it, but they're going to start using it, odds are they are looking to do Facebook ads. So I can call them up and try to sell my services to them right there on the spot. Pretty good idea. I think I, I'm really excited to test that. But let's get into the nitty gritty, my boys. We're going into operator now. Okay. Now, I already built a couple operations. This one is pretty freaking cool. So what I'm trying to do for this one is I'm trying to, let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm trying to make it basically fill in emails that I don't have. So you guys can see these columns right here. I'm clicking on them right now. Maybe you can, maybe you can't see it. Maybe there's a lot, but either way, these email columns, I'm actually not, I'm actually lacking some emails. So what I was trying to get them to do is try to search their website or their Facebook page, which they don't really have a Facebook page here. So they're just their website to try and find the email addresses of the actual owners of these businesses. So I can cold email them. I try to make an operator do that. So we're going to go ahead and see if it can do that. 
because again I did already test this operator and it does work but you can see the instructions right here let's go over the instructions while the operator does this thing you're gonna see that it's gonna go up here it's gonna paste in the, the Google sheet and it's gonna go into it all by itself it, it, it's pretty insane all right guys so anyway you guys can see that it just says something went wrong so it's trying to reload the page here but let's go ahead and go over the instructions like I said I was going to so for each blank cell in column F know the business name and the website if the website is listed visit it and check for contacts about the footer for the email or the footer if no website is listed google my business name and find the contact address enter the owner's email if possible it's not enter a general enter a general business email so that's not good if you can't find an email leave the cell blank or write no email find okay okay that actually is good because basically what it's going to do is going to look for the owner but if it can't find the owner it's still going to bring back like the info at whatever like a lot of business owners still have that i'd rather it actually do an email than not in one email at all wash your chiropractic all right there it is so you guys can see it says couldn't find email already but it's still looking for an email and i just got to say out boy to that you know appreciate the dedication but it's going through and it is trying to actually find okay where is this uh email address so again, a lot of these are just not having email addresses, but it's still going to try to find. I mean, you guys can see right now it is still going as we as we speak. It's still looking for emails right now. It's under a different one. So you guys can see that it does work very, very well. But again, with a lot of these, maybe their email address isn't just out there out and about. So you guys can see right here, it's already going. and It's going to say couldn't find email. So it's actually showing me no email found. There you go. So you guys can see that this operator does work and it does exactly what I need it to do. Obviously, it's not perfect. They can't just create an email out of nothing. If their email's not out there, I can't use it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and pause this operator for the time being. Because honestly, I don't want it running in the background where I can't see what it's doing. And again, we showed now that it actually cannot find an email. But it went to the about us and went to, went to the contact us. So with just these instructions, it did very, very well. So let's go ahead and go to the next thing. And that is going to be deep research. Now, some of you guys may already know what deep research is. But I can kind of show you if I just click deep research and I go uh, my company named social web so we should see what it does here okay so guys this is what it's doing right now I'm gonna analyze the best strategy for social webs to achieve rapid rapid growth what it should be doing and right now it's gonna start its research okay and again I want to show you guys how in-depth this thing can get so while it's actually researching let me show you guys what it's actually been able to do for me so this is all one deep research guys this is all chat GPT saying some, something back to me all I asked was hey I want to know what I could do better for search engine optimization for my website if you guys don't know what that means basically I'm trying to rank higher for organic traffic I'm trying to get more people to my website and this is what it said it, it used references to my website it went through my website and showed hey these are really strong points hey these are very weak points and then here here's what you should be doing and then it's citing all the sources and where it's got this information guys it's doing deep research in order to actually tell me what is going on so you guys can see right here it's actually still building so I'm gonna give it a break and we're gonna come back when it's done okay guys so the deep research is actually taking a little bit it's actually been probably like what like four or five minutes here we go guys look at this look at this so Introduction. Social Web is a social media digi digital networking company seeking rapid growth. The reported on again. Okay, so this is the deep research, guys. How much did it give me? Well, let's just go ahead and scroll. Brrr, a ton. A ton, guys. Come on. A ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. So, it gives me that much deep research. This is really good for papers that you have to do. This is really good for just big problems that your company wants to tackle or you personally want to tackle, guys. It's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And again, I don't know if I will be spending the next $200 a month. It really depends on how much operator can really do for me. Like right now, it's really showing me that, hey, it can do a lot. It's now moved on to the next one, guys. It's going to fill in all these blanks. And I'm going to make it go through every single blank and fill it in. And that is just crazy, guys. That is absolutely, that was just me messing around for a couple hours. So imagine what you can do if you actually take the the time to fully learn how to make operator an absolute beast so with that being said guys I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here if you guys do enjoy it, you guys have questions even comments guys I'd love to go back and forth with you in the comments let's discuss new AI stuff let's discuss the future let's discuss digital marketing let's do it guys because I'm in this business for the long game and I really look forward to serving you guys as business owners in the future if you guys want to work with me and with that being said hope you guys do enjoy my socials are in the description go ahead and check them out and with that being said I'm out. I'm going to keep walking on this treadmill. Um, yeah, because I kind of enjoy it, honestly. Low key. All right, see you, boys.